continuing with circum center this is the third video in the in my first video uh, we use uh, coordinate geometry to prove the, or find the circum center of a triangle which was an acute angle triangle in the previous video I proved uh, that the midpoint of the hypotenuse becomes or is the uh, circum center now in this video I'm going to show you now this is an obtuse angle triangle an obtuse angle triangle is a triangle which has one of its angle and obtuse angle so this angle a is an obtuse angle so this triangle is called an obtuse angle triangle and we'll find that the circum center is outside the triangle now circum center so we'll start like this so let the circum center let the circum center of triangle ABC BO BO and that has a coordinate of X comma Y so if O is a circum center O has to be equidistant from A B and C A B and C it has to be at the same distance and then only it can become the circum center okay this implies we can say OA is equal, it should be equal to OB and that should be equal to OC. So we're going to use uh, an algebraic approach in this video without drawing the perpendicular bisectors. So let me change color. So OA using Pythagoras theorem, OA is nothing but square root of uh, the coordinate. Suppose let us take O is somewhere here. So that you can understand I'm not saying O is here but I'm here presuming that O is here and this has a coordinate of X comma Y so what have we to prove what are we proving just to give you an idea of what we are proving we are proving that O A is equal to O B is equal to or oh, oh, this is O B so basically we are going to prove we want to prove that this this is equal to this is equal to this okay now if you're looking at OA it is using Pythagoras it is X uh, take away minus 2 will become X plus 2 squared plus Y minus 0 squared is Y squared now OB this is O and this is B so this will be X minus sorry square root of x minus 9 squared plus y squared and OC is square root of x take away minus 8 is x plus 8 squared plus 5 minus 8 squared this is nothing but Pythagoras here okay so we are going to use this now so I'm going to say first OA is equal to OB so I can write this is equal to this so let us write that so square root of x plus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to square root of x minus 8 squared plus y squared so expanding or uh, squaring both sides I can say x plus 2 the whole squared plus y squared is equal to x minus 8 the whole squared plus y squared so uh, what did I do x minus o, x, o a is equal to o b okay sorry so this should be uh, I'm taking two things from two different places okay so this I should have written OB is this so this would be X minus 9 squared plus Y squared so this will be X minus 9 squared plus Y squared okay so yeah this is OA X minus 2 squared plus Y squared and this is OB okay so now this becomes uh, X squared plus 
4y 4x plus 4 plus y squared is equal to x squared minus 18x plus 81 plus y squared. I hope I have not made any mistake. I think I'm right. So this plus x squared plus x squared plus y squared plus y squared from both sides will get cancelled. So this is 4, 4x. Yeah, so I'm going to bring the x's on both sides. So 4x plus 18x is equal to 81 take away 4. So this is 22x is equal to 77. So dividing bo both sides by 22, x is 77 over 22, which is 7 over 2, which is 3.5. So we have got, got the coordinate of x, or we have got the x coordinate, which is 3.5. So uh, how can we find y? What can we do to find y? So uh, let us, uh, okay, so let me change color. Uh, let me take, say, blue. Can I say OA? Uh, can I say OA? Yeah, OA is equal to OC. Okay, so uh, I can say, I'm going to square both sides. I'm directly writing this step. I'm not writing this step, so directly I can write OA squared. Or I can write OA squared is equal to OC squared. So OA squared is, without the square root, so it will be x plus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to, OC squared will be x plus 8 squared plus y minus 8 squared. Okay, so I'm going to try to save space here. So this is x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared is equal to x squared plus 16x plus 64 plus y squared minus 16y plus 64. So what happens is x squared and x squared gets cancelled, y squared and y squared gets cancelled. So what have we got? We have got 4x, let me write this again, 4x plus 4 on the left hand side, and on the right hand side I've got 16x minus 16y plus 128. So let me make an equation. So 4x, so I'll take the 16y to this side, so 16y plus 4x minus 16x is equal to 128 minus 4. So this is 16y plus minus, sorry, minus 12x is equal to 124. This is 16y minus, well, we know x is 3.5 minus 12 times 3.5 is equal to 124. I'll get my calculator out. Okay, so the what is menu run? So 12 times 3.5 equals 42. So this is 42. So 16y minus 42 is equal to 124. So adding 24 to both sides, 16y is 124 plus 42. So 16y, hopefully I've not done any mistakes. So this is 166, am I right? Okay, so I'm dividing both by 16. So 166 divided by 16 is 10.375, okay? So your y is 10.375. So this is uh, y is 10 and 3 eighths. So your coordinates, so circumcenter O is 3.5 comma uh, 10.375.
So if you want to write this as a fraction, O is 7 halves and 10 and 3 eighths. Okay, so just let us plot. It's very difficult to plot though. So let me cancel this. Oops, uh, I didn't want to cancel that. So let me plot it just to show you where it is. So let me delete it. So 3.4, so this is 3. This is 3 and this is 3.5 and 10 and 3 8. So this is a 1 8. Uh, it's almost here. Uh, 1 8, so it's slightly slumped somewhere here. This is your circumcenter. So this circumcenter is 3.5 comma 10.375 and this has the same distance from this is b okay this is a b and c the same distance from a b and c is this point 3.5 uh, 10.375 and this is outside the triangle 